Hi, I'm Annie Lim. Just a quick background about myself before I share with you my experiences on accepting made-to-order cakes at home or maybe planning to have a small cake shop business. I have a small baking supply store and a baking and cake decorating school in Manila, Philippines. When we migrated in Canada, that was uh, 2005, I started a cake business. Now that I'm a senior and I have arthritis, I don't accept orders anymore. Cake art is really my passion and I really miss doing it. So I started making videos on cake art and of course my two hobbies, gardening and clay ceramic art. Actually, I really don't know how many hundreds or maybe thousands of cakes I made for four decades. Anyways, here are my very important helpful tips on accepting cake orders. I suggest that you make a separate order form for birthday and wedding cakes. I don't know your local government rules on home baking, but be sure to research on that. Now on your order form, of course, your name and your customer's name, contact numbers must be indicated, if possible, with email. Next is the pick up date and time. Then note who will pick it up, the name of the guy or person must be indicated too. Now for deliveries, know the exact address, contact person, and phone number. As if they are toll fees or, or parking fees. And there should be a setting up fee too for multi-layer cakes. Always make an allowance for those who will ask for a discount like friends, relatives, or seniors. Add like 10 to 30% more than usual. Customers are generally happy to get the discount. Question, what if they did not pick up the cake? Okay, so don't worry. This is why you need an order form because the order form is also your contract. You must indicate in bold letters, please, that in the case after you try to call them and they did not answer or even text, the cake will be donated to the food bank or the soup kitchen after two days. Oh, by the way, this is important too. This happened maybe twice or thrice a long time ago. Let the pickup person know that he or she cannot leave the cake inside a hot car just in case he's going to do more errands like buying stuff for the party or whatever. Also let the driver know that the cake must be level. Put something to secure the cake box so if he stops and goes the cake will not be moving forward or backwards. I know you might say oh that's common sense. <laughs> no it's not common sense at all. Just remember, not all drivers knows about everything about cakes. Just note that your responsibility ends after the cake goes out from your door. Some brides are so specific on their motif. Ask for a swatch or a ribbon so you can try to match it. Then show it to her for approval. Know if the bride and groom have allergies, so be very careful. Usually, they order two to six months before the wedding, so you have time to let them taste your cake. Just a short story. Two nice white ladies order a baby shower cake. I was so excited because I like doing hand-molded figurines made of gum paste. When they pick it up, they were shocked. I thought it was a, a happiness shock. But the lady said, Oh my God, the baby is black. Now it's my turn to be shocked. 
how on earth should I know that the baby is black? From then on, I added the race on my order form, whether Caucasian, Black, or Hispanic. I tried my best to make my customers happy, but it was not as nice cause I was given an hour to redo it. So again, be careful. In 2009, I charged 150 Canadian dollar per figure. For the bride and groom, I charged 250. I tried to copy the faces of the bride and groom and also the wedding gown. Oh yes, definitely yes, you have to. You order it, you pay for it. You should add these to your order form and the customer have to sign it. You can also add 50% now down payment and then two weeks before delivery, they should pay the full payment. I have more few tips and reminders. If you're not good in drawing, have some wedding magazines to show. Compute your cost well. Usually beginners charge so low because they don't add overheads like water, electricity, and labor. You spent a lot of money to learn this cake art, so they must pay for it. If you have a registered business, additional 20% more or less to your cake for taxes, licenses, and permits. Remember that quality is your future. No quality, no future for your cake business. Capture these forms for your guide. I'm sure you like to add more details. Doing what you love makes you happy and live longer. So enjoy, have fun, be creative, be patient, and always please your customers. They will advertise your cake if they are happy. Thanks so much for watching.